hey what's up guys today in this video we are going to look at how we can upload files inside our nest.js apis so to handle file uploads there is something called as multer it's kind of a middleware which checks for you know the request and if it finds a file then it allows you to act upon it now because nest.js has a very deep linking with express so most of the things which if you would have used with multer is very much easily available inside nest as well so we will see how we can implement it so to before we begin our code one thing which i will have to install is the type type dependencies or the type definitions of multi so i will do npm install a dev version of multi dash d represents dev dependency which means when we when we are building a production version it will not come up okay now let's do npm run start dev oh i made a mistake because i installed it inside the wrong folder i'll do a revert of it go inside my server and then okay this is done I think my database is not running that may cause a problem let me quickly start that and while this is happening let's understand how we are going to develop the api so let's just say inside our thunder client we have a new request and let's just so we will have a api a post request which is called slash file inside the body will have a form with fields as file fields and now we will try to see how we can develop this okay to upload a file let's quickly create a sample text file so i'll go inside this maybe create a text file upload.txt and maybe i'll just dump this text itself just to be a little creative with the content but yeah you get the point right so so this is my file i'll try to upload this right now i'm assuming yes it is going to give me a 404 because nothing is defined as of now so let's get started with it the first thing which obviously we will have to do is let's just say we go inside our app controller we create that api And so we are handling that request through this function, which is a post request. The you know, URL is going to be slash, I mean, file. And now if I try to hit that URL, okay, it still doesn't work. That's a bit weird. Is it because I need a slash? Let's see. F I L E. Or is it the port? No, it's not the port. What just happened? Let me start the swagger and see. So I'll go to localhost 3000 slash API. It says there is a post URL called file. So I don't understand what is the problem. Slash file. Oh, my bad. This is double L. And I was almost not able to see that. Anyways. So now I can see the response, which means this is fine. But then what if I want to see the content of this file? There's no way right now for me to look at that. Okay, so how, how do we go about doing that? Let me show you. So there's the first thing we will use a decorator called use interceptors. This is coming from nest.js common okay and in that we will use the file interceptor and this is nest.js platform express okay that's where this you know, interceptor is available to us okay now the first thing which it requires is is the field name if you see it is requesting for the field name and the second one is the multer options so as i told you you know 
Nest.js is giving us a wrapper on top of Multer. So we just installed the type definitions and the Multer was already there. And with this, what is going to happen is inside our controller method, right? We will be able to get something like upload file. Okay, when we are handling single, if you want, there is also one more method, which is upload files, where you can do a loop and then handle those. But right now we will only see a single file. How do we handle that? So it is going to be file of type express multi file. And that means now I can do something like this and try to see what do we get inside our terminal. So I'll just expand it, hit send. It says unexpected field, bad request. Okay. Something wrong. Ah, I know. I think I need to name this and then it should work. Yes. So can you see there is some basic information which is available that the field name is file, our original name is upload.txt, encoding 7-bit, MIME type, it's a text thing and then the size is available. Okay, that's fine. But so far we haven't been able to save this file or do anything with it. You can imagine Multer is like a middleware which intercepts this request. It understands that there is some file object in this request and it needs to do something. But before it does anything, we will need to send it some configurations so that it understands what it needs to do. Okay, so let's go inside our controller. We haven't finished stuff. As I told you, this interceptor gets a second argument which is optional but it still does which is the multer options but before we do that there is one more thing which you can do if you go into your app modules and if you want to globally control certain things the behavior of certain stuff you can do something like multer module register the destination you can set as uploads okay and now if i go back to my request again can you see first of all the uploads folder got created let me open it for you inside my explorer how do i do that reveal in file explorer so inside server i have uploads folder okay nothing is there as of now but can you see because of this configuration i was able to create that folder and then if i hit send now a file got created obviously this file is in a very cryptic file name it doesn't have the extension which means that there is literally no way for me to read it um, other than just guessing it this time i know it's a text file so if i open it with notepad okay i'm getting it but what what happens if this is a binary it's an image i i have no idea how to read that right so we'll have to do something about it. So although we have some global options over here, there is a lot more that we need to do in terms of uploading the file. So let's see what are the things which we can handle over here. So the second argument, what we will do is we will send an object. Now again, this can come from a configuration or sort, but right now we will do it inside the controller. We will send an object, which is going to have a key called storage. And this storage is going to get something as an in a set of options coming from disk storage again available through Multer. So disk storage. So if I click over here, if you see this is a function which is available inside Multer. That's why I installed the type definitions as well. It is going to return a type of storage engine. And if you look at the file interceptor. Okay, this is the multer options. Multer options takes the second argument as storage engine. Although it is any, but ideally we should pass the 
multi storage engine which is available so that's the reason we are passing something which is return getting returned from this function which is of type storage engine okay now what are the disk storage options we have we have destination basically this means you know the folder where we are going to upload it the file basically and then we have the ability to pass a file name as a key which is an optional function okay it we get the request we get the file name sorry the file object and the callback as three parameters okay if the callback returns null or error then the file won't get saved but if it returns a file name then that is the file name that is going to be used to upload the file which makes sense because then we will be able to control what comes instead of this you know cryptic thing so let's start implementing this storage disk storage so the first parameter as we saw is going to be destination so why don't we set our destination to be files let's just say okay and then the file name which is a function in the first parameter was request then the second is file and the third one is callback okay so now there are there is some bit of you know, logic which i will put in which determines the file name so i'll quickly stub that out all right so my function is something like this i'm creating a unique suffix so that i can ensure that the file name which is getting created is unique enough so that i don't have two files with the same file name and that's how i won't be ending up overriding certain files on my server because it is quite possible right now i have a file called my text or maybe sample and then uh, someone else also creates a file and tries to upload it right so this is my uniqueness how i want to get that then i'm getting the file extension through the x ext name coming from the path module this is you know, default with node okay and then i'm creating this string a template string um where you know, the first part is the file original name if you see okay uh, the console is not there when we see these co you know console then you will understand but the file name has file dot original name so we are using that and then we are putting a dash and then adding that unique suffix and then we are putting the extension which will ensure or rather help us you know, have a a meaningful name rather than this weird thing over here and then in the callback we are returning the first parameter as null which means it is going to pass it is not going to fail and the file name will be returned okay so now with all these code in place let's try and hit the api once again we have this request if i hit send what just happened i have field name original name right file name is modified that's good and we have files upload this so the question is is the file visible yes it is can you see files slash this now obviously there is some problem because the file also has the text right so i'll need to get rid of that let me see if i can do that dot but i'm thinking it will be a good idea that we don't actually keep the original file name but rather save it as the original file name from the user inside the database so that no spaces or something comes up i i would think that is going to be a safer option because who is stopping me from uploading a file where the file name is upload slash logs uh, sorry upload space logs and then it can become a problem so yeah i think what i will do is do something like this and let's try once more so hit send send connection was refused i think the app is starting again try once more and this time the second file is the random string which means we don't have that problem of upload text dash and then this random string so yeah generally this is fine so yes that's about it and that's how we upload files to our api there is a lot more things which we can do with this but at the bare minimum yes this is how you will start uploading files to your disk 
on the server right through your apis so yeah if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel